All right, so our switch three has a password, and we just can't seem to break through it. So the password's on the console port, and every password I try is just failing. So what I need to do is actually do password recovery on the switch. Now, what we have to do is there's no power on off button on the switch. So we're going to grab the power cable on the back, rip it out of the socket as nicely as we can. And then we're going to actually take this mode button on the front of the switch, and we're going to press and hold it in completely. We're going to plug the power cable in right. as we're pressing and holding the mode button, and we're going to hold this thing. It's supposed to be about 10 to 15 seconds. Don't jump at the first light show you see, because I've done that many times. So the light show starts. Continue to hold it down. And now, it's been about 10 seconds. We release. Yeah. On my screen, which is part of the recording, mm -hmm. now it is completely flipped okay. to a different mode. It says switch colon. Which is like, well, what's switch colon? That's like ramen mode on a router, but it's pre-boot on a switch. So now there's two commands I have to enter, and the commands are actually on the screen shown to you by the switch. They are flash underscore init, which initializes the flash, which is where your actual iOS is stored. So type in flash underscore init, you hit enter, it prepares your flash like preparing a hard drive. And then after that, we actually need to find the config file. The config file is what has the password. So I'm going to use my dir flash, which is dir <laughs> space flash. And we need the semicolon after flash. And it will list all the files. And one of the files you're going to see in there is called config.txt. Config.txt is what has the password on it. So you have two options. You can either delete the entire config file, or if you don't want to lose all your work, you can rename it. We're going to delete it because yeah. we want to start from scratch. Yeah. So to delete it, we'll just do delete flash colon config.txt. And once we hit enter, it says confirm. You want to delete that? And I'll hit yes, enter. And it says it has been deleted. I can verify with another dir flash <laughs> colon. And it's gone. Okay. So now all I have to do is one last command, and that is boot. And now when it boots, there's no configuration file that has the password on it anymore. And it'll boot up beautifully. And there it goes. And that's the end of password recovery on the switch.